Having used multiple processing tools for my astrophotography images over the past 18 months, I'm going to ask the question, what is Star Tools? And hopefully provide an answer in under five minutes. If you're trying to decide which imaging tool is the best for you, my advice is to download a trial, watch some YouTube videos and decide which works best for you. Your needs and therefore answer may be different to the next person. So what is Star Tools? Star Tools describes itself as a powerful new type of image processing application for astrophotography that tracks noise propagation as you process. With its ability to track noise as you process, the modules within Star Tools use a mathematical engine, allowing Star Tools to understand your images data and how best to apply those chosen processes to it. One of the great points of the Star Tools engine and processing features is that it won't perform nonsensical operations, which is great if you're a beginner, and this saves you from entering bad habits or suboptimal decisions. As a software application, Star Tools is very flexible in that it can be installed on multiple, multiple operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. An unlimited time trial is available for free, which offers full functionality, except for being able to save out your final image. A paid version of around $50 provides full usage and free updates across a two-year period. What does Star Tools offer? When compared to the likes of PixInsight, Star Tools does come with less processes or features. However, Star Tools does provide an easier level of entry and use. In general, the workflow is self-created through simply working through the modules provided top to bottom. Although note, not all modules need to be or should be used for each image. This easier level of use comes through Star Tools having less parameters and settings than say compared to PixInsight. However, this could be seen to give you less direct control over the processing of your image. I'm sure some will disagree with this as in you do have a lot of control over your image, but please wait for my later conclusion in this video. Compared to PixInsight or even AstroPixel processor, one area that Star Tools does not cover is that of calibrating and stacking your images. Personally, if I am processing my image in Star Tools, I will have already stacked my frames in AstroPixel processor first and then imported the stacked image into Star Tools. Star Tools is an impressive application allowing you to, to create decent pictures without understanding too much about how image processing works and what causes some imperfections that can be encountered. Default settings work in many cases, and when they don't, you just move sliders and watch the image change pretty much immediately. As Star Tools is built around modules, which are running noise-based algorithms, it can become a little tricky handling issues where a clone stamp-like tool may have came in handy, which picks in sight or even Photoshop offers. That being said, Star Tools has some outstanding functionality such as the color and noise modules, along with a flexible wipe module, which works wonders on the likes of gradients and light pollution. I don't want to belittle Star Tools at all. I use it personally myself and behind each of the modules is a set of powerful algorithms which offers a wide range of flexibility and control, although not to the high detail level of PixInsight. Although that control in PixInsight does come with the well-publicized learning curve that it has. That being said, the processing engine behind Star Tools still produces remarkable results. Conclusion. All this can be summarized by understanding the unique approach that Star Tools takes in that you tell it what you want to do and the algorithms or engine helps by deciding how to do it. In this case, it is exactly opposite of PixInsight where you need to have the knowledge and ability to specify what needs to be done in minute detail. Just to be clear, Star Tools is not just simply use the sliders until it looks good. There is still an art to be learned in making your astro, astro image looking good then making it actually look great. And there are some great pictures out there that have been processed with Star Tools. Just look at the Astro Bin collection, for examples. For value and cost comparison, Star Tools is considerably cheaper than PixInsight. Great value, but as probably expected, has less bells and whistles. However, Star Tools also provides an accessible entry point in post processing your images. Just remember, though, that stacking functionality is not included. Overall, a lack of bells and whistles does not detract from what Star Tools is capable of in any way.
In fact, one of my own personal images of M45 were processed in Star Tools, and I have to say that I'm mighty proud of it. <laughs>